The best way to learn in this course is to apply the material as early and often as you can. Think of yourself as the newest hire in a tech startup where you need to get up to speed quickly on a wide variety of concepts while somehow still managing to be productive. Of course, the pressure in the course will come from your desire to learn the material rather than an external boss or investor. You should have two questions in mind as you, as you approach the material in this course. First, how can I apply what I'm learning now to new data science problems I might want to tackle in the future? In other words, what sorts of applications can I imagine for this material in the future? Sometimes the deepest insights you can generate will come from creative off the beaten path applications that are only tangentially related to how a tool or concept is being discussed in class. If you're new to data science, that can be a strength in that you haven't yet been indoctrinated into the standard ways of doing things. Treasure your potential to discover non-standard approaches. The second question you should always have in mind is, how can I use this tool or idea as quickly as possible? In general, this means understanding three things. First, what the tool is at a conceptual level. For example, what problem is the tool trying to solve? Second, how do you get access to the tool? For example, do you need to install it or what? And third, how do you use the tool in an application? For example, what syntax do you use in order to gain access to the tool's functionality? Or how can you wrangle your data set question or question into a format that is com compatible with the tool? To cultivate good data science habits, I recommend keeping both Slack and a collaboratory notebook open whenever you are going through the course materials. This applies when you're going through a written tutorial, a pre-recorded lecture, or live Zoom meetings. I encourage you to constantly tinker, jot down notes, and explore.